So lately when I go out and do these small rides just to get some exercise in, I'm noticing that there are a lot of a lot of things in the bike lane. The other day I found so many things in the bike lane, so many people, objects, things that weren't bicycles in the bike lane here in Queens in New York City. I thought someone was playing a joke on me. So today we're going for a quick 10 to 12 mile ride. Let's see what we can find in the bike lane. All right. Number one, just parked in the bike lane. Okay, okay. We just gotta watch these guys. This is actually acceptable. They're doing construction, so they have to close it. Let's sneak around here. Person in the bike lane, I mean, at least they have their hazards on. And they're in the car too. The traffic up here. Let's see what happens in Astoria Park. I always see people just jumping in the bike lane. It's pretty, pretty calm now. Not a lot of people around. Middle of the day. Right, nothing crazy happened in the park. typically get pretty uh, messy over here. Let this car go first. Keep our eye on this pedestrian. I'm good. I know I'm not in the bike lane right now, but I'm trying to give myself more room for error. The door flies open. Stuff like that. We got a guy crossing the street right behind this van. And here's where the bike lane can be really dangerous because it's enclosed for the most part but it doesn't take much for a person pedestrian dog little kid just to run in front of you not looking so really got to be really got to be careful and there's no one no one up here except there's one guy walking so now we can pretty much you know, open it up for a little bit, but not long. Coming up to a traffic light right here. Just proceed with caution. There's something else too. A lot of these cars are turning left and turning right into Costco. So we just have to be careful. Ready, I see cars in the bike lane. They might be construction vehicles. Yeah, it looks like they're construction vehicles. Can't really get too mad at them. Still a pain to navigate around though. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. 65, 70 degrees. And here we go. Double whammy right here. Blocking the bike lane and a bus stop. You know, and then cars get mad at you for going into the into the actual car lane. I almost want to tell them, talk to your buddies that park in the bike lane, but I, realistically, no one cares. No one really cares here. Just got to be as safe as you can. Pedestrians, we're good. And these little kids over here. I'm going to go really slow now. Yep, that's exactly why I want to go slow. Little kids are very unpredictable. They'll run right in front of you. And you'll be at fault, because you're on a bike. Queens Bridge Park, very quiet.
There you go. Another one parked in the protected bike lane. Beautiful, beautiful. Followed by something else. Oh boy. Barely any room for us, so there's no cars behind us. Go ahead and to the lane. Bike lane really ends right here anyway. Nice, blocking the whole lane. Blocking the whole lane. And the bus lane too. Signaling because we're kind of right. Weird enough, I feel safer sometimes on a street with no bike lane than a street with a bike lane. It just gives you more flexibility to take the whole lane versus just being confined in this tight space that's unprotected. Protected bike lanes are better with barriers, but still, riding on the streets, sometimes I feel a lot safer on the streets with the cars. Now we have a protected bike lane. It's a beautiful shot. We have a protected bike lane coming up on our left. So let's go ahead and signal. And there we go. But here comes the transit police. Let us go. Yep, they let us go. Hop back into the bike lane. Now this is kind of like a shared bike lane, I think. Or at least that's how I treat it over here. It's typically pretty busy. Maybe not, maybe not today. Maybe not, you know, right now, because it's the middle of the day. I didn't even realize there was a bike lane right here because everyone's always parked in it. So short lived though. It's going the wrong way. Just a car parked in the middle of the bike lane. Nice. People blocking the streets too. No way around, blocking the entire lane. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna we're gonna wait for this light. Do a quick track stand. Bike lane blocked by this guy. Horizon. Bike lane blocked by this guy too. Now I gotta break the law and go on the street on the sidewalk. Back to my lane. It's blocked up ahead, but that's due to construction, so you know. Can't get mad at that. All right. All right, nice clear bike lane up here. Now this is tricky because I gotta make a left-hand turn. But let's see. We're good. Nope. Green light. They have a green light. We gotta wait right here. Now we're good. Underneath the elevated line. More construction. Accident about to happen. It's quiet. I wonder if seven trains are running today. There's seven. See if we're good to go this way. Car is coming. And a car. Car just blocking the whole bike lane. Beautiful. 
Tesla Cybertruck. The thing looks like a pickup truck from a video game that hasn't finished rendering yet. A poorly rendered video game with poor graphics. But the bike lanes weren't as crazy as they normally are around rush hour on the weekends, but we still saw quite a bit. A lot of cars, mostly moving vans, moving trucks, blocking the bike lanes. Didn't really see as many pedestrians jumping into it, but think about that. Even on a nice chill time where most of the people are at work on a Tuesday at 12 p.m. in the middle of August 2024, and we still saw quite a bit. So can you imagine how crazy it gets during rush hour or summertime. Just gotta take matters into your own hands and make sure that you stay as safe as possible so that you don't go down because no matter what, the city loves to blame us. The city loves to blame us cyclists anytime there's an accident with us. Ride safe, thanks for watching.